Is that real? It's like a, a bale of cotton. cotton. Yeah. You know what that is? That's the world's biggest cotton wool. A giant set of ballows used to keep the boiler working to power the machinery. We have to keep this, can we take that home? Do you want it? I want to frame it, put it on the wall. Then. Formation of the Earth, 4.55 billion years ago, don't tell a Christian. The moon is formed, planet cools, and oceans start to form. First life, 3.8 billion years ago, don't tell a Christian. machines possible that you can have yeah. to um, create cotton thread right from the raw cotton. Right, yeah. What we normally explore with our visitors is what this used to be like because we would have had one of each, had about 20 of each or whatever and floors of them. Yeah. But we do know that in, that's in 1834 because we've got a, a plan for this room here. We had about 45 machines on this floor and it was a preparation floor so it would have been a floor for brushing the raw cotton to get all the seed bits out and align all the fibres and they were all the machines there and that's one of them at the end and there would have been probably 24 of them up at that end of the room all together. These ones here represent these machines which are our stretching machines so we brush the cotton and it comes out like a cotton sausage you can see it dotted about. Um, and then we put it through these machines to make it finer. That's as far as it would go on this floor, and then that would be sent, taken down by the children down to the spinning floor. So this essentially was a, uh, a brushing, blending, and a stretching room. We've got our cotton that's already been stretched in that machine. You can see it's going to just get finer and finer. It's quite noisy, so there would have been about 20 of these at this end of the room. Okay. if this building is haunted at all. Simple reason I ask. As we were walking on the floor above, we were the only ones on the floor at the time, and I felt like a, a web go across my face, and I, I don't see where a web could be coming from. It was quite a big open room, but it almost felt like something went across my face, and it happened twice. One straight across here, and then one just after, like here. Is the place actually haunted? We can actually run this and we do use the cotton from it to weave into our cloth. It's a very much later machine, but it's called a ring spinner. The ring spinner is a type of machine that's actually still used today. So the clothes we're wearing, if you're wearing cotton, may have well been, the thread may have well been spun on something very similar to this. I don't know if you remember in the 80s, the Betamax and the VHS battles going on. Well, in the day it was the ring spinner or the, the mule, which we got downstairs and the ring spinner won the day. So these are sort of still used, a bit of a more modern version, but it's exactly the same type of technology and process. That ring goes around about 9,000 revs per minute, so it goes pretty fast. The modern ones go around about 24,000, so yeah. You can't actually see it going around it's too fast, but you can see this rack will go up and down. It, that guides how it winds on the bobbin. So I'll just pop it on for a minute just so you can see a bit of spinning going on. This is some of what we've taken off up there. Yeah, yeah you can see So that's at the top. So that's this stuff. Yeah. So there's no twist in that at all, and you can just break mm. it. I not expect it. Really. Amazing how quick you can get right down from that big sliver, which yeah. is just a lump, you know. Yeah. Just through two processes. In the day, when this was a processing room, you would have been, you would have had to say 45 machines, and all the operatives would have been women. Okay, it's unskilled work. 
therefore it's given to women because you can pay women less than you would men yeah. you wouldn't be able to afford to pay men because they demand a greater wage mm -hmm. that's why the women ended up doing it in the day uh, there were men on this floor there are about three men and 17 women the men were holding positions of supervisory positions really you did have about 10 children working here as well. Their job really was to help keep us at our machines. They would be moving stock from process to process, basically. Mm -hmm. Working in the same conditions as us and the same hours, which is a 12-hour shift, six days a week. Imagine that falling on Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, that thing is heavy. Have you listened to the headphones? <laughs> A pacer in your factory From early morn to dewy Yeah, you can do it. You have to persuade your boss that it's a two-person job. There we go, right on. It's a good job for a man, maybe. Exactly, What have they done to you? <gasps> Thomas. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're okay. Oh, look what they've done to his mouth. Is that beef for you? It was lovely. What did you have? Uh, uh, soup. Soup? A soup. Was it nice soup? It was a nice tomato soup. Did you have any croutons? No, I had a piece of bread. That's bad. That was nice. Some sugary drink behind you. So we've put a little bit of Red Bull down for him, but we've watered it down. It's the only thing we've got that's a little bit sugary and... Oh, don't fall into it. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> I'm trying to help the guy. Put some sugar on it, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it by the tree over here. I'm sorry, little guy. I did try and help you. If I put him up here like this... He's 
He's got a bit of coverage. Cover him up slightly. I think that's all we can do. There's nothing else you can do. We're just walking back towards the car and I seen this little wasp on the floor wriggling his legs. So I decided I was gonna pick him up, try and help him. I've given him some watered down Red Bull, hoping he'd have a little drink and gain some strength back, but unfortunately, I think he's really struggling. I'm just gonna have to leave him. He deserves a name, what should we call him? The hero. The hero. Yeah, he's a little hero. The hero. Come Our on, survivor. the hero. <laughs> Let's see how he's doing. He's stayed up, but there is some, some stuff on there. Hopefully you can drink in a little. Get some, get some strength back, hopefully. I don't want to leave him, fortunately. Nothing much more I can do. I'm not an expert. I'm not a wasp expert. Uh, we've also brought this. I didn't steal it, I brought it. But basically guys, they found a load of these in the clock tower. They got them for sale for nine pound and things like that. I think they're really, really cool. It's a bit of history right there. It's full of cotton as well. So that's always good. I don't know whether the cotton was on there and they found it like that or whether they've wrapped them up because some of them do have more on than others, don't they? Some have got like a little bit of cotton. So that's like 50 year old cotton right there. At least 50 years old. At least 50 years old. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please drop a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.